and a new revelation about domestic surveillance by the U.S. government. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that U.S. Marshals have been using small planes to intercept cell phone signals and collect caller data. The planes are outfitted with special devices known as dirt boxes, named after the DRT, or Digital Receiver Technology Division of Boeing that manufactures them. The devices mimic normal cell phone towers, and this tricks your cell phone into connecting with them instead of the actual tower. How can somebody intercept our calls and messages? And how can we detect if our calls are being intercepted? Cell phones have been around for a while now, and they are the guardians of our memories, our photos, our private messages, and our secrets. They have without doubt become essential in our digital lives today. After 9-11, everything changed privacy-wise. The Patriot Act gave law enforcement and federal officials greater authority when it comes to tracking and intercepting communications without warrant. Thus, many government agencies started using mobile communication interception devices. These devices are known as Stringrays, Kingfish, GSM Interceptor, or IMSI catchers, and they work as cell tower simulators. These simulators basically work by tricking cell phones in an area to connect with them rather than with normal cell towers or phones have an International Mobile Subscriber Identity, or IMSI, which is a unique identifier linked to the SIM card meant to authenticate our device to the mobile network. These fake cell towers intercept communications, calls, text messages, internet traffic, and more, and then relay the communication to the real cell tower of the network carrier. To make matters worse, the victim is mostly unaware of what is happening. This type of attack is also known as man-in-the-middle attack. What your phone does is connect its chip via the baseband to the nearest or strongest cell phone tower by default and fall into the trap. At first, they were only used by large government agencies like the FBI, but today they are owned by every state police department in different countries. The ACLU has identified 73 agencies in 25 states and the District of Columbia that own stingrays. The question is raised, however, by the news articles that we have seen. When this device is turned over to local law enforcement, are they being adequately trained on the judicial protections? Government agencies around the world have constantly used these devices to monitor people in protests or spy on journalists or activists because these devices leave no traces. Just imagine a cyber criminal using these devices to easily access everything in your phone. Some ways in which these devices are normally used by the government and criminals are location tracking, when they want to confirm the presence of someone in a specific location, verifying the presence of their mobile phone, or even to monitor who attends a political protest, or just to locate a stolen device. Authorities also use these devices to monitor prisons in case there is use of cell phones. Communication interception this is a very common cyber attack performed these days to intercept calls, messages, and internet traffic from mobile phones. Calls and messages can also be spoofed using these devices. Normally, the devices are installed in a van where they can listen to all the phone calls in a kilometer range. 
IMSI catchers can also be mounted on a drone or a plane to extend the range to a few kilometers. Denial of service. These devices can execute a DOS attack that will not allow you to make or receive any calls or messages, thus blocking mobile communications in a particular area. Hidden tracking via silent SMS or silent call. A silent SMS or call allows a cyber criminal to send a message to another mobile phone without the knowledge of the recipient. The silent SMS, also called flash SMS, is not visible to the sender or the receiver. Silent SMS allow the precise location of a mobile phone. Types of IMSI interceptors. There are different types of these devices sold in the black market. Gossamer is a small portable device that is similar to Stingray and can cost around $30,000 in the black market. Trigger Fish is another Stingray type device and can intercept 10,000 phones in a particular area. Furthermore, Kingfish and Harpoon type devices can be used to increase the range of a typical GSM interceptor. 3G GSM network interceptors allow intercepting 3G data and calls and can cost around $50,000. A GSM interceptor can also be made at home and can cost from around $500 to $1,000, providing a range of 50 meters. How can you detect if your communication is being intercepted. There are different ways to detect an IMSI catcher. Most of them work by monitoring existing cell phone towers in your area and notifying you when a new one pops out. You can detect an IMSI catcher in your area using FADE project. FADE project, which stands for Fake Antenna Detection Project is a project developed by the Washington University along with the Sea Glass Project, meant to detect IMSI catchers in different cities. As of now, they have covered different cities in Latin America to defend freedom of speech. In the fake project, cellular sensors are built from off-the-shelf parts and installed into volunteers' vehicles. The sensor's data is continuously uploaded from vehicles and aggregated into a city-wide view. Then, algorithms find anomalies in the cellular network that indicate IMSI catchers. Anybody can be part of this project and create sensors along with the C-Glass app. In their website, you can learn how to assemble the sensor to help uncover these devices in your city. There, you can also see the results published from cities like La Paz in Bolivia, Caracas in Venezuela, Mexico City in Mexico, and the border between Venezuela and Colombia. They have mapped which parts of these cities have IMSI catchers. In these parts of the city, you should not use your mobile phone for communicating confidential information as there is somebody listening to all calls and messages. Sitch. This is another open source project that helps you create your own IMSI catcher detector. You can build your own sensor using common tools and hardware you can easily get. Sitch sensors constantly monitor base stations or towers in an area, as well as radio frequencies for any new cell phone tower that can be an IMSI catcher. Another solution is using apps meant to find out if there is an IMSI catcher near you. Some of them are Android IMSI Catcher Detector or AIMSICD. This is a free Android app that helps to detect fake cell towers or IMSI catchers that can eavesdrop on your calls and messages. 
The app can even tell you if you have been tracked via silent SMS. It does need to be rooted and it is only for Android though. Snoop Snitch. This is another Android application that works as a security patch analysis. It helps detecting mobile abuse, such as network insecurities, IMSI catchers, SIM card attacks, and even SS7 attacks. It can also detect silent SMS, and you do not need a rooted phone to use it. GSM Spy Finder. This app will also help you detect fake cell towers. It also periodically checks for new networks and notifies you when an unknown network appears in the list of all identified networks. It's always running in the background and a rooted phone is not required to use it. Cell Spy Catcher. This app has a self-learning process where it learns all networks and cell phone towers used by your phone. If the app detects that you are going to connect to one of these cell spies or an untrusted network, it warns you with a sound or a red screen. This app also doesn't require a rooted phone. Darshak. Darshak is another free app meant for detecting any suspicious activity of being tracked via cellular network. It can also tell you if you were attacked by a silent SMS. It does need to be installed on a rooted Android phone, and it has interesting features related to network authentication and GSM ciphering algorithms. We suggest rooting an old Android phone and installing all these applications in that phone and in all the areas where all these applications show a red alert, avoid using mobile networks. Most GSM interceptors owned by criminals or available in black markets are 2G interceptors, which will try to downgrade your network from LTE to 2G. You can win over these interceptors by forcing a 4G communication. Many new cell phone models support this option. Encrypted phones, white scenes, and baseband firewall. The perfect solution to be protected from these devices is to use encrypted phones like Omerta smartphones, Cypherphone, or Pinephone, along with a baseband firewall. Phones like ESD Cryptophone have a baseband firewall along with encrypted SIM cards that can protect you from advanced GSM interceptor devices and SS7 attacks. If you want to know more about encrypted phones and SIM cards, you can watch the video in the link above. Wi-Fi calling with signal application. If you can't afford an encrypted phone or can't install apps to detect interceptor devices, we suggest you to use the Signal app for calls and messages on a secure Wi-Fi network. This is a free application designed as a cross-platform encrypted messaging service that allows encrypted voice and video calls. It is available for both Android and iPhone. Now you know that it is very easy for government agencies or criminals to intercept your mobile communications, and it doesn't matter if you use an iPhone or a dumb phone. Criminals can easily build their own communication interception devices or buy one from the black market. If you believe that Face ID or fingerprint scanners by keeping the data in your smartphone safe or that cyber criminals need you to click on a link or open a message in order to take control of your phone or even worse, that the old dumb phone you are using is safer than your new smartphone. You are gravely mistaken.
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.